What is up, Lave City family? It's Bobby, and today we have some epic lunch meal prep that can be eaten cold because so many of you guys want something you can take to work or to school and you don't have to heat up. I've got you covered, plus it's good for you, low fat and hella delicious. So I hope you're ready for a roasted cauliflower salad. Oven roasted cauliflower mixed with peas, carrots, herbs, and pickles, and tossed in a lemony mayo dressing, and served with broiled salmon with a citrus brown sugar glaze. So if you love easy, healthy meal prep and that's all about the flavor, baby, subscribe to my channel because I'm hooking you up with new meal preps every Friday and I want you to join the Flav City community. To get the cauliflower salad started, I have one large head of cauliflower that I cut into small florets. I'm gonna season that with two teaspoons of grapeseed oil, just under one teaspoon of salt, and a few cracks of black pepper. I think cauliflower could be my most popular veggie on the channel, and something happens to it when you roast it in a really hot oven, which by the way, I'm preheating at 450 degrees now. It gets really roasty and nutty on the outside, but stays creamy on the inside. And I'm telling you, it's so much better than boiled cauliflower. If you haven't tried this, get on it and then let me know how you like it. All right, so thoroughly mix everything together and pop this bad boy in the oven for about 25 minutes. All right, you guys, Desi was gonna boycott this video if I did more chicken. So I think we could all agree to take a break from chicken for one week. And in front of me, I have one and a half pounds of North Atlantic salmon. It's a beautiful color. You have that lovely fatty salmon kind of marble throughout here. We're gonna hit it up with this brown sugar and citrus glaze. So in front of me here, I have brown sugar. And even though it does have a little bit of calories, we can afford it because there's not much calories in the salmon itself, but you can also use stevia if you want. So go ahead and sprinkle over about one tablespoon of brown sugar. And then even though it's very early in the recipe, it's never too early to zest a lemon and an orange. We're doing equal opportunity zesting today. So go ahead and add the zest of one whole lemon and then the zest of about half an orange. Ooh, can you hear that? The noticeable audio difference of the zesting of the orange and the lemon. I didn't realize that. Different citruses have different zesting noises. All right, this is pretty cool. This is gonna go as part of my thesis of zesting and being obsessed with the zest. And then pinch over some salt on the top. All right, so here's where I get a little Professor Bobby. The glaze is gonna form because we just put salt on the top of the fish. Salt draws moisture to the surface. The moisture is gonna mingle with the brown sugar, the lemon, the orange, go back into the fish, melt and create this glaze. That does take a little bit of time, so I'm gonna stash this in the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes, then we'll pull it back out. All right, now getting back to the roasted cauliflower salad, which I actually made on Instagram and uh, Snapchat last week, and you guys loved it so much, that is the reason why I'm making it this week on YouTube. I gotta get the vegetation rocking, so I have two carrots that I kinda just cut up into large chunks here. I don't want raw carrots in the salad. I do wanna get that kind of firm edge off, so I'm gonna put them in some boiling water here. And then I wanna season it every step of the cooking process. So pinch in maybe a quarter teaspoon of salt. All right, I'm going to gently simmer those for two minutes. Then I'm gonna go in with one cup of frozen peas just for about a minute to defrost them. All right, I'm gonna kill the heat and then I don't want these veg in the water anymore. I'm gonna strain them over the sink. All right, now unless you're British and you like mushy peas like mom used to make, I would suggest plunging these guys directly into an ice bath. How bad was that accent? I feel like that was a bad one. I used to be really good at accents and for some reason I'm horrible now. Anyway, the reason why I plunge this into the ice bath is I wanna stop the cooking process immediately. If you don't do that, all the residual heat inside the pies and the carrots are gonna make them mushy and overcooked. So keep it in here for one minute and then I'll yank it out. You don't wanna hear my Irish accent. That is abominable. All right, the peas and the carrots are out of the cold water, but I wanna drain as much as that water away as possible. So set them in a strainer over a bowl. Now to build the rest of our roasted cauliflower salad, I'm gonna grab two perfectly hard boiled eggs. When I say perfect, look at that yolk. It's just a perfect yellow color. It doesn't have any of that nasty green or blue tinge on there that happens when you overcook it. Now to cook the perfect hard boiled egg, simmer them in water for 13 minutes. A simmer is a very low boil. Get them out and they're always gonna have that perfect yellow color to the yolk. So go ahead and add those to the bowl. A couple tablespoons of fresh parsley. Next up, go in with three dill pickles that are finely chopped. 
And then it's nice to have a little bit of spice in here to cut through all that creaminess and tanginess. So I have my favorite red hot chili pepper here. I'm gonna finely slice this guy and get it in. So then go in with the peas and the carrots. Now it's been about 25 minutes. Let's check on the oven roasted cauliflower. Okay, the cauliflower is exactly the way I like it. Check this out. All that roasty caramelized goodness on the exterior of the cauliflower and it's cooked through perfectly and it's nice and creamy on the inside. I'm gonna push these guys aside and get going on the mayonnaise dressing. I have some low fat mayonnaise here. I'm gonna add half a cup to this bowl. Now, this dressing has a couple funky ingredients, but I'm telling you, once you try it, you will be hooked. Toasted sesame oil and coconut amino acids. Coconut amino acids have replaced soy sauce in my diet because soy is responsible for man boobs and low sperm count. I don't want nothing to do with any of that. You can find this stuff at most grocery stores. It's so good, don't laugh. Man boobs are a big, big problem. So to season these guys, go in with, <laughs> I really got Desi on that one, that's nice. It's a bit of an exaggeration. <laughs> go in with like a teaspoon of the amino acids and then half a teaspoon of toasted sesame oil, the juice of one lemon, a couple cracks of black pepper, and then a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now give it a good whisk up, and the sesame oil and the coconut aminos just gives this dressing such a depth of flavor. It doesn't make it taste Asian, but it makes it taste so, so good. You do have to check it for seasoning because I want this to be a very lemony, a very zippy dressing. Wow, that is good, I'm telling you. The sesame and the coconut amino acids, the bomb. But I do need a little more lemon juice in there. Now we're gonna combine everything for the salad. So take the cauliflower, which is still a little warm, and dump it into the bowl. And then go ahead and pour some of the dressing around the bowl. And then give it a good toss up. And then I always like to dress a salad by putting the dressing on the side of the bowl. That way you can toss all the ingredients into the bowl and you don't end up with a big pool of dressing on the bottom. Would you guys please look at those colors? Just popping with the green, the orange, the white, and plus we replaced what normally would be potatoes in here that are starchy and carb and caloric with light, delicious cauliflower. It sure looks good, but now I have to go in for a little quality control. Mmm, oh my God. Cauliflower by itself is banging. You get those briny, salty pickles, those sweet carrots, sweet peas. The mayo dressing has such depth of flavor. This bowl of deliciousness that I wanna put my bathing suit on and dive into is done. So I will not do that, but I will get the salmon cracking and get it in the broiler now. All right, now check out this salmon I just yanked out of the fridge. Just like Dr. Scientist, NASA engineer Bobby told you, it formed this amazing glaze on top. I wanna transfer it to a sheet tray. My broiler right now is preheating on high. Now to prevent the fish from sticking, I'm gonna drizzle over just a little bit of grapeseed oil on the pan, and then rub it in with my hands, and then place them down on the sheet tray. Now normally in the summertime, I'll do this on the grill on a cedar plank, and it's an unbelievable preparation. But when the weather cools down, the broiler is basically an upside down grill and it works perfectly every single time. Now, depending on upon how you like your salmon cooked, pop these guys in the broiler for five to seven minutes. All right, it's been seven minutes and I don't know if it's done yet, but I do know that overcooked salmon is dry and nasty. So really the only way to know if it's done is just to cut into one and see if it's the temperature you like. I do like my salmon a little on the medium side. This still is just a shade rare in the middle. So I'm gonna pop it in for literally 45 seconds to one more minute and then I'll be done. Now let's check it again after a minute. Perfect. It's just a little kind of pink in the middle, but the rawness is done. I really can't explain it enough. Don't overcook your salmon. It'll go dry and lose all its flavor. Just cut into it a little doctor bisection and you'll be done. All right, let me transfer this to a platter and the meal prepping is done, yo. All right, all the salmon is looking money. Now here's the deal about cooked seafood, you guys. It only lasts in the fridge for three days. So I'm gonna freeze two of these guys. The alternative would be to cook three. As soon as you're done with those, buy two more or three more and cook those too. Grab one of the beautiful fillets, place it down. And then a nice healthy scoop of roasted cauliflower salad. I'm going for that really glazed piece on the end there. You guys, that salmon is crazy buttery. 
It's perfectly cooked. I love that sweet citrusy glaze on top. That is so good. Now listen, if you don't wanna do this with salmon, you can use one of my chicken recipes, my pork chop recipes, my beef recipes. They're all on the meal prep part of my channel and my website for all of the recipe, storage, macros, reheating instructions. I always hook you up with that down below in the description box. So make sure you hook me up and subscribe to my channel. If you want two more delicious meal preps that are weight loss friendly, check out the ones below me, but I'll see you next week. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Later.